Now it's time to break it. Welcome back. <laughs> We're here, the split screeners, for another grand episode of Movie Movie Bookie Bookie. Our movie book club. Absolutely. What was our movie this week? Our movie this week was Train to Busan. It was Zach's pick. Um, as you can tell, he's not with us. Yeah. So it's just me, Thanks, Aaron, and Gavin this week. Uh, but that's okay. Aaron will throw... Maybe he'll send Aaron a video of what he thought of the movie. You can throw it up at the end. He's supposed to, hopefully. Um, before we get into Train to Busan, though, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We are doing a giveaway because we have just reached our first big milestone on YouTube, I think with 20 subscribers 20 um, so we are giving away a 40 dollars visa gift card stay tuned to all of our episodes uh, i will say it's not going to be in this episode but in one of our later episodes Spoiler. This week, there will be a giveaway you comment what we want on that video and you are in the running for that 40 you have to figure episode. out what the secret word is we'll use it oh once. it's a secret phrase yes. i already know what the secret phrase is it's in my head oh, okay awesome uh, keyword is apple uh keep that in mind <laughs> that's a hint Get all the hints together and you can reveal the truth. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. The hint last episode was flower. Yeah, they gotta watch that episode. <laughs> Wasn't flower. We're changing it. <laughs> all right. Train the boost on. Gavin, what'd you think? I thought it was really cool. Uh, I, honestly, I'm sure it, it's a zombie Ooh. movie. Uh, we didn't really know that going into it. Well, well I did know it because I read the synopsis, but that's about it. Uh, usually... Pretty over zombie movies. In general, this one was done very well. The tension was stayed up high. Uh, all the characters felt like they were in danger. I got a little surprised by who ended up yeah. surviving by the end of it. I thought it was just really fun. The action was good. How they how the dead were reanimated was really cool. Like how they picked themselves up off the ground, like they were being like picked up like a doll or something. Yeah, it was really like creepy as hell, but really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was uh, really well done. The gore was good. Uh, the effects were great. Storyline was fun. The, the tension was nonstop, running around yeah. on this train. Like, you you never had a breather in this film once it started revving up. Way to give away a spoiler, and they were on a train. Oh, Duh, man, People sure would have never known that. All right, spoiler. <laughs> um, yeah, as far as zombies movies go, I think this is probably his top three zombie movies. Oh, yeah, that was yeah, um, fantastic. Yeah, the zombies... Best. Like Gavin said, looked fin phenomenal. The action was great. Um, there was no scenes really that like left me scratching my head. Like every character had its own place and moments, mm -hmm. and um, there was some good growth from the main character of the movie that I enjoyed. Yeah. Uh, I like that not only did you have zombies as the villain, but you actually had a villain in the movie to mm -hmm. root against. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, very, very well done. I, I can't believe that we didn't see this one earlier. Yeah, like, it's, and it's surprised it's been under our radars. Yeah, it's been on my list for a long time, but I just... I have, I actually it. hadn't heard of it. Yeah, I also When Zach heard brought it. it up, that's why I was so like, oh yeah, do that movie, because he had another one he was going to do. And I'm like, no, do Train, because I've been wanting to see this for a couple of years now. And it's, it's and awesome. I wish I would have watched it earlier. Yeah, like, uh, really good. And tense, scary. Yeah. Um... Terrifying. Terrifying. The, yeah. char the characters weren't complete idiots. Yeah. Not Most, all of them. Yeah, the main cast was pretty good. Pretty unique ways to deal with them, and they were, for yeah. the most part, qu pretty quick thinking on their Yeah, they, I mean, they had a lot of typical zombie cliches, but it all still felt new and refreshing, and not just more of the same old zombie movies. Which like is hard. usually get, yeah. at least with the American zombie films. Because, like... I liked it because most, like, American zombie films are usually, like, always running from zombies. They had that scene where they were running from zombies. A few scenes were running from zombies. But mm -hmm. a lot of it was just trying to, like, bypass them in the yeah. train car. So it added a lot more tension that's usually not seen. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah, cool. Being that, confined on that train is different. Yeah. And it was cool to, yeah, actually see them attack the zombies head on instead yeah. of running away. Yeah. But, yeah, great film. It's a good pick. I don't good. Know. Good job, Zach. We uh, yeah, seriously, Zach. We good. we have definitely had some low points as far as movie movie bookie bookie is concerned. We've had some yeah, bad recommendations. I think some... all of us have had at least one bad recommendation. Um, I know Zach's had a few. Zach's had a couple, but he's had two bangers. Yeah, two very very good movies that 
might end up being in my top 10 movie, movie bookie bookies by the end of the year, which... The yeah, they're currently in my top 10, yeah. even though we're only at 17. 17. Still. It's a crazy thought, because we've definitely missed some weeks due to holidays and mm-hmm. life events coming up. Um, so, yeah, to know that we're 17 movies into this, we're about to do our 18th. It's, I know, because... I was like, yeah, I given I gave Brady Bunch for everybody. Yeah. Uh, I expected another another flop would be Evil Dead Two when I do that when Zach's back. I'll still like Evil Dead Two, I think. Well, I'll still like it, but it's not. Yeah, we'll see. It's not a great movie. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it, it's I'm, not. I'm, gonna, I'm really looking forward to Army of Darkness, though. Yeah, exactly. I'm looking forward to Army of Darkness with everybody. I'm really looking and forward. And two, I'm looking forward to just because I've forgotten so much. Yeah, like it's. Yeah. So I have. It's supposed to be my week to pick, uh, but Zach is. But we're gonna wait. So we're here. doing something a little different. Yeah, uh, just like we do with our top tens. Which, if you haven't checked out, you should check those out. Those are fun. Um, usually, they go pretty calm. We have had one episode where we got into <laughs> very heated with each other. Um, so this week and next week, we're just gonna pick a couple movies, put them on a random wheel generator, and we're gonna spin the wheel. And, and the nominees elimination are? Or what? Uh, the nominees are from Gavin, Killer Sofa, and Willie's Wonderland. Willie's Wonderland. Aaron had Menace to Society and Fallen. And then I originally had Jojo Rabbit and Joker. Joker uh, but because we were just talking about wrestlers, I thought about wrestling movies. So I changed it to The Condemned and See No Evil. Uh, we are doing an elimination style on the wheel. Okay. And... I hope that people don't think I'm a cheater, but the condemned is the last one on the wheel. Wow, you didn't even tell us you were spinning. I well, I didn't want to spend <laughs> five minutes spinning the wheel while we, so I figured I'd do it while we were talking a little That's bit. That's fine with me, sure. Cheater. Uh, I know you haven't seen it. No. Uh, did you ever see the condemned? With no. Stone Cold. I've seen seen the wheel. I haven't seen. One of my favorite wrestling movies of all time. Uh, I think the condemned is fire as a movie. I hope Zach's seen it. If not, hopefully again he'll watch it while he's in. On vacation, we won't see where he's going. I was like, "Yeah, you just all oh, I got winding and chosen. They're, they they will show up eventually because we gotta watch Killer Self. Yeah, I think all of the that's the fun part about doing this is that eventually we're gonna get through so many movies. Like, think a year from now we're gonna be oh, yeah. sixty or seventy movies deep and still probably have so many ideas and stuff that we want to watch. So yeah, it'll be interesting. This will be what we do for the next couple weeks. Um, so next week, because I won this week, maybe I won't have any options in the wheel. We'll just have you and Gavin put in a couple movies. Um, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Like, I, get, I have some real bangers on here. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you I'm do. Sure you do. <laughs> That's why we want to we wanna get to them, for sure. And then once Zach is back, we will do the movie of my pick, uh, which I already know the movie we're doing. It's going to be phenomenal. It is a but... mystery film. Yeah, it will not be announced on the show. It will be announced after like, Everyone watch. knows when it gets back to me what it's going to be. Well, do we have a trailer for The Condemned? Uh, yeah, we'll show up right here. Yeah. Above our head. And I can play it on the TV once it's... Or maybe yeah. the whole screen is just the trailer for Condemned. It will be the whole screen. Oh, okay. With our voices behind it just being annoying. Um, Hell yeah. So you're seeing right now in the Before trailer. the end of the episode, you will see the trailer for The Condemned. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend it to anybody. I love this movie. Um... God, this is going to be a short episode. Yeah, that's fine. okay. That is okay. But before we get out of here, like I said at the top of the episode, like, comment, subscribe. We are doing giveaways. It's something that we've wanted to do since we started the YouTube channel, and we're doing our first one. So stay tuned to the other episodes that we'll be dropping this week. Um, Keyword is Apple. <laughs> at some point, you will hear a phrase. Type that into that video. Leave a comment. You will be in the running for a $40 Visa gift card from the split screeners. And uh, I think that's yeah, about that's it. So a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next week, The Condemned. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And it is time to split. split.